Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the opening match of the final round of the Mad Dragon Six Nation Series. Wales going up against Italy is going to be starting us out this round. Taking a look at the table, this is a battle to avoid last place. Italy getting that win last week in the surprising turn of events at the end of the game versus Scotland. Sees them in fifth place on sixth points. Wales still waiting to have a win in last place on four points. All to play for in this one. They do not want to come last in this table. But whichever team takes the win today will save themselves from that sixth place final position. As Elliot D collects the opening kickoff from Wales. A great start by them. As Owen Lane goes on the charge up the wing through Monte Iwane. Smashing him with the handoff there. Wales will want to play quickly today. Although they haven't got a win on a cards. They have put up some really big performances against some of the big teams especially the likes of Ireland who are competing for that top spot but going up against Italy they know scoring as many points as possible is going to be all important here as Josh Adams collects his own kick over the top and manages to beat Padovani to score the opening try of the game in the first five minutes. Incredible stuff there. Individual work out on that wing. Padovani felt like he had that all day long. Great little up and under here just to get around the winger. Padovani, maybe the sun in his eyes a bit, didn't quite get the jump right. Jumped a little bit too early for it. The ball went above him. And Josh Adams steals the first try of the game, putting Wales in a fantastic position. We'll see how Gareth Anscombe can get on kicking towards the post. You can see the Welsh flags flying in the background, trying to support their fly half, who's had a couple of difficult kicks over the course of this Six Nations so far. But this one... Seems to be looking good straight through the centre of the post. And that's exactly what Warren Gatlin's men will be hoping for. A good early start in this game. As Aaron Wainwright collects the ball straight from the kickoff. And yet again, this left wing seems to be a bit of an issue for Italy. As Josh Adams sniping through. Once again, Wales supporting their men at the breakdown. Can they go on the charge? Tom Francis driven back though in a dominant tackle by the Irish defensive workers there. Now, the Italian... Uh, Centre partnership, sorry, not Irish. Uh, the Italian centre partnership has switched up this week. They haven't got Brex. Brex is on the bench this week. Marine has stayed in his position and Maurici has come on in that centre position. So, a bit of a switch up in personnel, hoping for a difference in tactics as George North hits a clean line, but well defended. And Italy get the turnover. A bit of a poor pass, though. Maybe giving Wales a bit of a let off as they try and spread it out here. They go out to the wing. Can he get it out? No. Gets barreled into touch and the referee says it'll go for a line out the ball did go forwards in the tackle but uh, judged to already be in touch but that was Italy's first attack of the game they'll want to move that ball a little bit quicker it's a little bit slow getting out to the wing however the great work in the defensive line out there being able to steal the ball and slow down Wales and we saw the crossfield kick come in last week and there is no one for Wales out on that far right hand wing if Italy can get this out quickly they might have a good chance what a great read though by the Wales defenders to be able to shut that one down there is still no one out here though if the ball can get out Garbisi gets it out to Iwane, tries to do his own up and under, trying to recreate what Josh Adams did earlier on, but not working for him. And now they go out to Owen Lane as Wales are managing to make a bit of a breakaway from their own 22. Is anyone in that fullback position? Wales want to spread this one wide. George North once again clattering up through the centre. Italy getting a little bit bunched here as they play the miss pass out to Josh Adams. Well sorted out though. Coming in by Morisi to shut down Josh Adams on that wing as Elliot D again going for that pop pass as they get towards the midfield into Anscombe this time Wales have lost their fly half tied up in that ruck they'll have to just go through a couple of phases try and let their line reset a little bit unless Italy get a little bit short manned on this side as Owen Lane gets a little pop pass out to George North popping up everywhere today can Wales try and find a way through this Italian defensive wall? They go for a wider pass that time to Anscombe. Not the right decision, though. Isolated, and Italy get a turnover. But talking of isolated, straight into the hands of a prop who's not going to be able to make a great deal of room from out there as they try and go up the other way. Morisi once again trying to snake his way through this Welsh defence. They're not really getting it out to the wings as fast as you would hope for. Monte Ioani would like that ball a little bit quicker this time. They ship it out to the wing. A lovely sidestep coming 
coming in. Can he keep on going? Doesn't manage it. Shut down by Wales. Italy still in possession as George North with a great line for the interception. And maybe they've actually caught Italy on the back foot here. Not expecting that interception as Owen Lane kicks the ball further downfield. Padovani has to turn to get back to it. Can he clear his own lines? That's a decent kick. Will find. Not quite finding touch. And Adam Beard tries something a little bit different. Goes for the grubber kick. Not quite managing to find touch on that clearance kick by Padovani. Might come back to bite them. Italy know they need to come away with something in this game as Wales win their own line out and Anscombe this time tries to set off George North through that gap again. Italy have been doing their homework. Wales cannot find room in this Italian defence so far as George North. Now you can see him running around the back here trying to make up that extra man as Tom Francis gets it out to Josh Adams, takes the step around the outside of the wing. It does a step inside of Padovani and Wales have moved back up inside the Italian 22. Who's with him? Will Rowlands on the charge. Takes two men to take him down. Italy bunching once again as Moriarty tries to crash through the middle. Not managing it. Wales have got shut down a little bit there. They were in a good turn of pace as George North manages to break through one of the tackles. Well shut down though by the winger and it's now one on one. Owen Lane versus Ioane. A great tackle though by Ioane shutting him down and Italy will survive. Get the turnover and kick that ball clear. Held in though by Liam Williams. How on earth has he managed to keep this one in the field of play? The pop pass to George North once again. Not really working for them as Thomas Williams tries to find room and Moriarty nearly hitting the gap. Italy are defending valiantly so far in this game as it goes back out to Josh Adams. Once again tries the up and under. Thinks the sun is still in Padovani's eyes. It doesn't work and they've kicked clear. Liam Williams having to run around everywhere in this fullback position today as he tries to make up that extra man. The looping pass to Tompkins. To Tom Francis. Maybe not the man you'd be expecting to be charging down the wing but does well to make some decent meters here Italy still on the back foot Wales are giving them all sorts of trouble but they are defending so well as Anscombe wrapped up by his opposite number Garbisi and Italy get another turnover in the breakdown they have come to play today as an enormous tackle comes in there by George North driving back the Italian attacker and Italy don't want to stop this game either as Lakata manages to make a few extra meters Italy crawls all up towards the halfway line. Who's defending out on this left wing? Josh Adams gets back into position to shut that one down. Lamaro fills it at scrum half to try and play that ball out all, but Moriarty lined Garbisi up from quite a distance there. Italy have got a little bit tired, maybe, from all the defensive work they've had to do so far. They are doing well to retain possession on the ball, though. Lovely little sidestep there by the flanker, trying to make a few extra metres. Can they get it out wide this time? They're still trying to push. Oh, some lovely play there as Negri gets it out to Yuane. Bouncing through some tackles, plays the ball back inside, and they are still marching forward through Marine this time, and still going as Federico Ruzza gets the offload the offload game from Italy looking very impressive this half is still going on as they get it all the way out to the wing it's going to take a lot to try and shut him down there Josh Adams does very well Italy on the march forwards another massive shot by Moriarty putting in the big hits today has the ball been lost it looks like it's been lost and maybe just maybe Wales can make the breakaway they're saying no they've settled that one down they have weathered this Italian storm and Tonkins just kicks that one off the field and Wales might think they got a bit lucky being able to survive that massive attack by Italy towards the end of the first half. Well, what a game we had in store for us today, guys. Wales versus Italy. Two teams fighting to not be that team left at the bottom of the table for the 2024 Mad Dragon Six Nations. And Wales have been the more aggressive team for a massive portion of this game so far, trying to take all those lessons that they've learned throughout this Six Nations to try and increase their attack. They were the first ones to get on the scoreboard through a bit of individual work by Josh Adams, getting that ball out early. This right-hand wing for Italy has been a little bit of an issue defensively, and Josh Adams has been eating it up, getting a bit of ground made through, an up and under, and the sun maybe in Padovani's eyes, just misjudging his own jump. Josh Adams very good in the air, collecting his own kick and scoring a try, converted over by Gareth Anscombe to take us for the first and only score of this first half. Wales have been mounting the pressure, though. They've been looking for that second one. You'd have to say, though, the Italian defensive work has been phenomenal today. They have just not been letting Wales get through as best as they can, including a couple of big turnovers at the breakdown situation. It's 
Absolutely be very happy with their performance so far, especially with that final five minutes, just the onslaught of attack, changing up the way they've been playing, a more aggressive style, a lot of offloading, and it is making ground against Wales. They've just got to finish that final five metres that was their issue versus Scotland last week. They've got to get over those points as often as they can in this second half. On to the second half then, and there has been some substitutions at half time. Kieran Hardy has come on. We've heard that there's been a little bit of a knock picked up by Thomas Williams. We've also lost Danilo Fischetti for Italy in that prop department. So, a couple of switches in personnel. How will that shift up the makings of this game so far as Italy start out with an early turnover, but a big shot by Tom Francis to drive the Italian attacker back. They try and ship this one out to the wing, which is something we haven't seen enough from so far in this game. Maybe management have had words at half time as Wales commit to this ruck and Italy just sort of left that one for dead I don't think they realized that their scrum half was wrapped up in the middle of it oh a bit of a loose pass though goes out and Italy managed to reclaim the ball do they support this ruck a little bit better they do it's all getting a little bit scrappy out there both teams will just want to settle down and try and get themselves organized as this time Lakata tries to go not finding room through there the dominant tackles just show the ferocity that is going on in this game on both sides there's been some enormous collisions today and there is another one coming in from Elliot D smashing his player backwards in the tackle and it just removes that extra meter of gain line and there is Elliot D once again getting straight back to his feet the tired bodies that are going to be out there by the end of this game are very obvious oh it's a loose pass given away to Monte Iwani and Liam Williams with a massive shot they might want to check that with a TMO if that was a bit of a high tackle didn't really seem to be dipping anywhere in there as Wales try and get back to shut down Canone as he drives up towards the line Italy still have possession of the ball this time trying to go through Maurici doesn't work they've dropped back in the pocket and Marine will take the three-point drop goal. Was that the right decision? I feel like they had mounting pressure. Could they have just kept it going and maybe look for the try? They've said they'll take three. They haven't had too many ventures down into the Welsh 22 today. Just trying to close up that scoreboard. We'll have to see how it works out for them as we get back to the kickoff. And Rutsa not managing to collect. And Nick Tonkins manages to take the ball. And Kieran Hardy tries a little bit of interlinking play with Josh Adams up that blind side. Still going, bouncing through the tackles. And Italy under enormous pressure straight from the kickoff. Maybe they should have looked at something else rather than the drop goal here. As Nick Tonkins, although, gives away an easy pass. And Marine is on an absolutely massive charge. And Italy once again playing that offloading game. Trying to shut down Wales from being able to get back into position and slowing down the ball in the breakdown this mall though has slowed it down a little bit including some vital playmakers are wrapped up in that mall as well so they're gonna have to try something else they go for the kick it's charged down but it still works for them in that time Negri maybe not the man to get a spin away from his defender Italy want to play quick through Rutsa gets clattered in the tackle though as well if they can get this one out to the wing that's where they want to be going the dominant tackle stat is just absolutely going through the roof for this Wales team in this game enormous hits coming in all over the field and Moriarty that time wrapping up marine in that center department italy looking a little bit bunched and wales are finding it a little bit too easy at the minute to just keep shutting a man down although if there's one man that's going to break that deadlock it will be yuane out on this wing making wales have to spread out and then they try and slinky it back up through lucchesi in the center there can they keep driving forwards that time marisi stopped once again they're opting for the box kick not believing they're really getting anywhere there owen lane slows this game down a little bit wants to clear his line inside the 22 it's okay it's maybe not the best kick we'd be expecting and David CC is coming on now for Canone who's been busy and straight away Italy get that ball into the lineup they don't want to hang around they know the clock is against them only seven minutes left on the board can they make something come from this game Wales are in the grasp of being able to take their first win of the 2024 season if they can get this ball a wide oh and not managing Marine couldn't get that final pass out to the winger to created the two on one and unfortunately it slowed down that Italian attack a little bit but they offload game once again playing hard now and Ken George North who's just been everywhere today having to get another tackle stat on for him as well been busy busy in terms of defense oh the offload game still working hard for them and Italy are breaking through suddenly Liam Williams doing well to shut him down Iwane out on this wing man of the match last week after a brilliant try in the depths of the game can they keep on going as they spiral round David Cece breaking through with Lakata they're putting pressure 
on this Wales defensive line if they can spread this one out wide. Oh, they played the miss pass. Maybe the prop it was not the man they'd want to see have the ball there. Italy still looking to put pressure on. Can Wales shut down? Oh, they do. Well shut down against that wing. One on one. Tackle had to be made. Wales are waiting for the mistake here, but it's well picked up by the scrum half. Oh, it's all gone wrong. Going on his own maybe would have been a great decision there if George North can just clear this one off the park. That is going to be the end of the game. Seven points to three. Was the drop goal the right decision from Italy in one of the best attacking positions of the game? I really think they should have looked to have gone for the try and gone for the big points rather than just staying with it and hoping that the three points is going to be enough for them. Wales will take this one seven points to three. It's their first win of the tournament and it will save them from finishing in sixth place that added four points will put them on eight and they will move above italy and unfortunately it looks like italy will be finishing last in the 2024 six nation series guys i hope you've all enjoyed this one today do you think this could be a realistic result that we'll see on the weekend or do you think italy will be causing an upset drop it down in the comments guys i hope to see you all next time bye bye